everyone, it's me, Molly. Molly of the Nolly. Let's go. She's Molly of the Nolly. <laughs> Come along oh. with Molly. Molly. Who fills the fire we Come along with Molly. Molly. From Tundra to the sea. She's Molly of the Nolly. She's Molly of the Nolly. All aboard! Come on, Zinky. Slow down, Molly. The Denali train station is busy. I don't want to miss the train to Anchorage. I promise we won't. I can't wait to go bird watching in Potter Marsh. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait! <laughs> we noticed. I've been practicing my bird calls. Yes, we know you've been practicing. <laughs> That's the loon call. Not bad. You've really improved, Molly. Why don't you put it back in your bag with the other bird calls so you don't lose it? Okay, sure. <laughs> Looks like you could use a hand with that. <laughs> oh, Molly, what have you got in that backpack? Let me guess, another mystery book or three? Or five. See, I brought four of my Nancy Drew mysteries and this is the best of Sherlock Holmes. And what is it you love so much about mystery stories, Molly? Finding the clues and then solving the puzzle. Problem solving is a lot of fun. That's what a detective does. Not just detectives. Problem solving is something I use every day as a pilot, and your dad uses as a wilderness guide. And it's what helped our ancestors to survive. A keen sense of observation, science, and lots of problem solving. Every day. Like when Chada fixes our fish wheel, or figures out what's wrong with our boat engine. Exactly. I wish I could find a really neat problem on this trip, so I could practice solving it. <laughs> Well, you never know what might happen on a train. For me, it's going to be reading all these mysteries. That much reading is going to make the eight hours fly by. You know, Molly, I love reading mysteries almost as much as you do. But while we're on the train, you won't want to miss the things that will make this trip special. You mean the beautiful Alaskan scenery? Of course. Not to mention the train itself. The cars, the engine room, the locomotive. I loved trains as a kid. It's here, it's here, it's here! Listen, Molly, there's something you should know about this particular train. All aboard the mystery train! <gasps> Did he say mystery train? I don't know. Did he? Um, what's a mystery train? <laughs> it means there's going to be a made-up mystery that happens during our trip. We all get to pretend to be someone else, like actors in a play. And then we get a chance to solve it. You mean like Nancy Drew and Sherlock Holmes? That's amazing! <laughs> we thought you'd like it. Masi Cho! Greetings, friends. My name is Marvin. I'll be your host and conductor aboard the Denali Star Mystery Train. You must be Molly. <gasps> How did you know my name? Who says I do? I'm Molly's dad, Walter, and this is Layla, her mom. A pleasure indeed. Do you know my dog's name too, Marvin? She's Suki. <coughs> Salutations, Suki. Uh, Molly, you're aware that this dear animal will be traveling in the cargo car? Yep. Suki and I talked about it. She's going to take a nice nap in her crate until we get to Anchorage. Right, Suki? <coughs> Suki doesn't always love being in her crate. She's even been known to escape now and then. Don't worry, Suki. The trip will be over before you know it. Excellent, because we can't have a dog running about when mysterious things begin to happen. E when does the mystery begin? Maybe it already has. All aboard the mystery train! This looks like the cargo area. Come on, Suki. Into the crate you go. You'll be just fine. Maybe you'll even make some new friends on the trip. She sure will. Dreamy. Hi, Molly. 
Hello there, my brace. Daniel, I didn't know you and Trini were taking this train. We're on our way to the state fair. <laughs> <laughs> All three of us. What's in that giant crate, Trini? Molly, meet Texas Red, my soon-to-be state fair prize-winning poultry. <laughs> That's a chicken? It's really big. It looks more like a dino chicken. He's a breed called Rhode Island Red. But I call him Texas Red, since he's the size of Texas. <laughs> ah! He's also a very excited chicken. He can't wait to get to the state fair. Texas Red, I'm sure you're gonna win first place. We're going too. But first, we're going bird watching in Potter Marsh. <laughs> Look, Suki and Texas Red are good friends already. Okay, back in your crate, Texas Red. Whoa, Trini, that's a fancy crate. Texas Red has his own bed and pillows and a blanket and lots of padding. Texas Red needs his beauty sleep for the competition. <laughs> All Suki has is her water and food bowls. I think she's a little jealous. Greetings again, guests. Did you not hear the announcement? What announcement? Oh, that's right. There's no speaker here in the cargo car. What did we miss? Well, I simply wanted to say, <clears throat> welcome aboard the Denali Star Mystery Train. Please find your seats or we'll find you. I don't think so, Molly. <laughs> Pretty sure you'll know it when it happens. Wait! My shoelace is untied. Maybe someone untied it. Oh! Oops! Careful! My binoculars! Uh, oh, oh. oh no! Got him! Oh. Sorry, I knocked over your binoculars by accident. But they're fine. See? Yes, I see. Nice catch. Thanks. Oh. These are really nice binoculars. Here you go. By thank you. Oh, those are my favorite beans. I'm Hans. Hi, I'm Molly. Hello, Hans. I'm Molly's dad, Walter. I'm her mom, Layla. Wait a second. Are you a bird watcher, Hans? How did you know? You gave me a clue. Bird watchers call their binoculars bins, and those look like really nice ones for birdie. That's exactly what they're for. I came all the way from Austria to see the birds of Alaska. I started birding in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, then Denali, and now I'm heading to Potter Marsh in Anchorage. That's where we're going. I'm hoping to see loons. Me too. Loons can be found in the interior of Alaska as well as in Potter Marsh. You may also see birds that don't live in the interior, like red-necked grebes, Arctic terns, northern harriers, yellow legs. <laughs> That's quite a list. Sorry, I could talk about birds all day. <laughs> That's okay, so could I. Do you have a strategy for finding birds? Oh yes, look what I've brought. A set of hand-carved wooden bird calls. How wonderful. Sounds just like a real loon. No unauthorized winged passengers in the train car. Ah, uh, it's just you, Molly. And my bird car. Yes, very nice. Now, everyone, please take your seats post haste. After all, anything can happen once the train starts moving. <gasps> he means the mystery. Hope to see you later, Hans. You too, Molly. Layla, Volta. Why don't you give your bird calls to me, Molly? I'll hold them in my bag until we get to Anchorage. Thanks, Dad. Sounds like we better find our seats. I think our seats are one car forward. One mystery solved. This train is really special, Marvin. You can set up the camera over here and get a nice view of the mountains. Wow, look at that camera. Do you think that woman is making 
making a movie? I sure am, young lady. Name is Tony, and I'm a filmmaker. Hi, Tony. I'm Molly. Hello there. I'm Walter. This is my wife, Layla. We're Molly's parents. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you, Tony. Are you here to film the mystery? Actually, I'm making a documentary about beautiful train rides. Documentary? Molly knows what that means, right? It's where the movie is about something in real life. That's right. You know a lot about movies. Well, I make them too. Actually, more like videos for my vlog. I just use my computer, but you have a lot more than that. You mean all my equipment? I suppose I do. I'm the director, the camera operator, and sound engineer all in one. And each one of those jobs has its own special tools, from cameras to lights to microphones. I'm sure your movie is going to be great. And you should keep your eyes open for the mystery. <laughs> I'll do that, Molly. You better find your seats. Nice to meet you all. See you soon, Tony. We're in the next car up. Come on. And look at the beautiful framed beadwork and paintings. It's like a moving house with an invisible roof. This is called the dome car. And here are our seats. And look who's across the aisle. Trini. Daniel. Hi again, folks. Molly, we're in the same car. Did you find the mystery yet? No. But it sounds like the mystery is about to find us. Dear guests, thank you for joining us on our journey through Alaska aboard the Denali Star Mystery Train. Yes! If you reach under your assigned seat, you will each find a box. In it is an envelope containing your name and occupation along with an item of great value or usefulness. But I already know my name, and I don't have a job, unless you count vlogger. Maybe we should open up our boxes and see. These are going to be our pretend names for the mystery, Molly. Oh. This is so exciting. Here we go. Let's see. <gasps> All right, look at this. This is going to be so great. Oh, I love it. Why, how do you do? It is so lovely to meet you. Sir Walter, famed archaeologist, this appears to be my ancient map. And who may I have the honor of addressing? I am Countess Layla, and this is my necklace of precious jewels. Made of chocolate, of course. How do you do, young lady? Mom, Dad, I didn't know you were such good actors. Did you hear that, Countess? <laughs> it's been a long time since I played a part. I knew we'd all have fun on the mystery train. It's like being in a play. And something surprising is going to happen. That's the mystery. We all play our roles, villains, suspects, and even... A detective? Check what's under your seat, Molly. You've been assigned a part in the game, too. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Molly, did you get a box like me? Yes, right here. Let's open ours together, Trini. Ready, set. <gasps> Trini! Look, it's a magnifying glass. And the card says I'm a detective. <gasps> Just like Nancy Drew and Sherlock Holmes. You may call me Detective McBray. <laughs> <laughs> a stethoscope. I'm Dr. Mumford. Cool. Sherlock Holmes' partner was Dr. Watson. Sherlock Holmes may be the greatest detective of all time, but he was nothing without Watson. Do you think maybe we can work together too? Detective McBray and Dr. Mumford, together, the greatest mystery solving team in history. Dear travelers, please take your seats as the Denali Star heads toward Anchorage and a mystery. Here we go. See you later, Denali. Mystery awaits. And Detective McBray and Dr. Mumford are on the case. The 
Molly of Denali podcast was created by WGBH and Gen Z Media in partnership with PBS Kids and PRX. If you like what you hear, please leave a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen. And for more adventures with Molly, Molly of Denali, check out the PBS Denali. Kids video app. She's Molly of Denali. She's Molly.